Hi, Brandy. This is uh, Matthew Robert Payne. <coughs> and this will be your personal prophecy. Um, I'm just using this uh, background for a series on the parables of Jesus made simple and uh, on the 54 parables of Jesus. And uh, so I've kept the background uh, as I'm using it. Uh, it's not my normal background. Um, I was very interested in your name. Brandy is like a drink too, and uh, never had brandy to drink. And um, your, your prophecy request came through about six hours ago. And I got your email too. I've just had a good feeling in my spirit all day about you. And uh, I'm pretty anointed today, which means I've haven't had a lot of sleep and the Holy Spirit is moving really well on you. So I can't guarantee it's just going to be 10 minutes, but if it goes longer, then there's a bonus. I'll just pray, dear Father, I pray that uh, you'd give me a word for Brandy, a word to bless her, encourage her and lift her spirits up in Jesus' name. Amen. I see a whole lot of uh, children and uh, like in a circle, and from time to time, a child comes to the middle of the circle and just answers. The, the children are between four and six, and they're all young girls. And they're playing some music, and each girl, whenever she's brave enough, goes into the middle of the circle and does her own solo dance. Um, I sense that the circle's been going on, on and on, and there's been no dance from you. And um, I sense that uh, for a lot of your life, there was insecurity and uh, not feeling good about yourself and, um, and uh, pain. And uh, uh, when, when you're like that, you don't want to be embarrassed and you don't want to embarrass yourself. But I sense over the last, Two to three years, uh, Jesus has really made himself known to you. And I see you as an adult woman coming out and dance up a storm. And the little child is there uh, dancing. I can see the little child dancing and she's dancing up a storm and the, the, the whole of the audience are just blown away. But, um, but the girl dancing is in a wedding dress and... Uh, it's like a summer's sort of uh, wedding dress. And uh, so it's it's like white lace wedding dress, but it, it's really free flowing and uh, and uh, and not so uh, hugging the body. And uh, it's just in this mad dance. And if you really uh, look, uh, you can see superimposed Jesus. And it's like the wedding supper of the lamb. And uh, it just, um, the look in your eyes is just, uh, absolutely a uh, devotion I'm, I'm not sure if you're single or you're married or what your marital status is but no man on earth could compete with the eyes of love that you have and um, i sense that um if this isn't already you um that's a picture of who you are in in the coming future because um Jesus is, is going to call you out as a prophet and uh, he's, he's, he's going to be your lover. And um, I can see you starting your day talking to Jesus and falling to sleep uh, mid-conversation with Jesus. I think you've already done that. Uh, from time to time, you've just been talking to Jesus and just passed out. Um, Jesus is, is becoming... Uh, if he isn't already uh, your focal point and uh, uh, he's very much in love with you. Um, I feel uh, his love uh, for you and uh, I, I, I sense that I, I could just, I sense that I could just tell you anything. I could tell you any embarrassing thing about my life. There's, there's just so much assurity in the love that I feel of Jesus for you that his love in me for you makes me so honest that I could share anything. Um, I sense that um, you're going to be a forerunner. Uh, a forerunner is someone who does things um, first, like I'm doing an interview with the Holy Spirit at the moment. 
It's got 43 videos uh, to it. Um, and, uh, and I was the first person to start uh, free prophecies online, uh, written email prophecies online. And I was the first person to start a Facebook group where you could request a free prophecy. I was pretty much the first person to interview saints from heaven. They're all things which are forerunner. It's like an inventor. It's the person who does things first, where people follow in and, and do things um, behind. And I can see you've got a real forerunner, um, think outside of the box, uh, calling on your life. And I think uh, there's going to be many things that you forerun and you bust open for the kingdom of God and people are going to um, come after you and do it. I, I see um, a sweet uh, presence that comes upon you when you sing. Um, I, I hear the word Song of Solomon. I don't know if that's a special part of the Bible for you. I think I've only read it once or twice, um, probably once, and it was a bit uh, of a, more of a love story than I can handle. Um, I, I wasn't really interested in it so much, but I, I, I sense a, a sweet presence comes upon you when, when, when you sing to the Lord and when you worship, even when you sing contemporary songs, the presence of God uh, comes on you. It doesn't have to be a, a worship song. There's just a real presence about you. And um, I don't know if people have commented and, and said to you that you're anointed, but You've certainly got this presence and this anointing and this special um, gifting to sing. Uh, I'm not sure if you've sung in public. I, I sort of sense that you haven't. But um, I, 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 um, I feel this is turning out like a bit of a blueprint. My blueprint's $150. But I, I just sense so much love for you that, um, that, uh, that I, I'm just moving into a sort of blueprint sort of anointing. But um, I sense uh, if you could get recording artists uh, together, if you could get musicians together and book a studio in the future, I sense that you could release uh, albums and, uh, and actually become a recording artist. Um, and I don't know how you get to your music played and how you get popular, but I sense there's a real anointing on your life to uh, sing and not just, not just worship, um, just contemporary songs and not even Christian songs, just uh, songs about life and about love. I sense um, you're very meticulous and uh, you're very um, ordered and structured. Uh, your, your place wouldn't be a mess. And, uh, and uh, it's not that you couldn't function in a mess. It just would never get to that state. You're so ordered and meticulous. And... Uh, I see you moving in business in the future and and uh, being involved in some sort of business. The forerunning is going to be some sort of business and, and the music uh, will be a sort of business. But I can see like multiple businesses uh, in your life. And um, I think uh, you've got this uh, really open access mind uh, to Jesus and... Uh, and um, and to the leading of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit just got so many ideas. Um, I, I rarely meet someone who, who Jesus loves like he loves you. It's, it's like a holy fire of passion that he has for you. And it's not that Jesus loves someone more than he loves other people. Like people would say, well, how can Jesus love? Well, God loved King David more than nearly any person in the Bible. And uh, so there's, there's an extra form of affection. And um, I, I, think, um, I think God's love is reciprocal too. If we hunger and thirst after him, he hungers and thirsts after us. And James says, um, draw near to God and he'll draw near to you. And so that sort of supports what I'm saying is I, I feel there's such a passion coming from you that there's a passion coming from God. Um, I sense that uh, you're going to be called as a prophet. Uh, you're going to speak and decree and declare and uh, announce things. Um, I, I can even sense a prophetic gift growing in you. And, um, and uh, you know, I, I could even give you some homework. Uh, 
for you to uh, write to me and uh, give me a prophetic word um, and uh, test your gift out. I sense that um, there's some surprises coming in the next year for you, some good surprises, um, some, uh, I, I see uh, financial uh, 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 money coming from you. I'm not sure if it's an inheritance or some sort of financial gift that uh, someone's going to give you um, some sort of financial gift. Uh, I would never prophesy that. And I think in 25,000 prophecies or whatever, I think I've done it about two times, but I sent some sort of financial, uh, they, you know, the word in my mind is windfall. Um, but I sense that the money's going to be invested by you in a business or one of these ideas. And um, so in that way, it's not so much a windfall, but provision. Uh, I think that you'll make plans to do something and you'll need finances you'll be looking around for a bank or some way to get finances and this windfall will happen and it'll be all the finance you need to start what you need to do. And um, so um, I, I sense that the Lord has already spoken to your spirit about some sort of idea and you've been wondering about finances. And uh, when the time comes when you've done your business plan and you've planned things out, this windfall from somewhere is going to come. And, uh, I, I'm uh, someone who's uh, received false prophecies over a wife and, and uh, people have prophesied false prophecies, three or four people have over my life and I'm someone who, who's been really hurt by that. And so I'd be very cautious to prophesy something that could really hurt a person. But um, whether the windfall comes or not, and I'll just back away from what I said, whether it comes or not, the Lord is your provision and he will provide. If he gives you an idea for business to do some sort of business, um, he's going to provide the resource for that. And uh, if he does that supernaturally through some windfall, uh, that's his business. I pray that, uh, that uh, this has encouraged you. Um, uh, I could do something more extensive in a blueprint. I didn't do this uh, to do a blueprint. Uh, in your life, but uh, you can order one of them if you choose in the future. But uh, I just want you to know that um, I feel the love of Jesus in my heart uh, and I feel how much he loves you. And uh, quite honestly, I could propose to you right now with the love that's in my heart. And uh, you're probably married and that's probably really funny and really weird. Uh, the Lord's had me say that a few times and uh, it's had an effect on a person, but he, he really, he really, really dearly loves you. Uh, I could see him um, running out in the middle of the road and stopping cars uh, if, if you were in danger. I, I could see uh, him um, uh, fighting a lion or fighting a bear uh, to protect you. Um, there's, there's a real um, husband sort of protector uh, part of Jesus. And, um, I think you've been told, we're certainly uh, told in scripture that vengeance is mine, save the Lord, I will repay. And um, I don't think you have a problem with uh, forgive, unforgiveness or bitterness, but I think you've been curious about some people who've been really evil to you. When are they going to get their comeuppance? And I don't even think you think that way, but I, I I think even Satan has placed that thought in you and annoyed you saying, well, you know, you're not as special as you think, otherwise they would have been dealt with. Whatever that nagging thought that came in or came in once or a couple of times, just be sure God is your protector. Jesus is your strong man and uh, he's going to really do damage to people who hurt you. He's going to really protect you. And sometimes... Sometimes the best punishment for a fool is to allow him to continue being a fool. Some, sometimes uh, the best punishment for someone who's prideful is just to let them go through their whole life being prideful with no friends. Um, so uh, leave a fool to himself and leave an evil person to himself because sometimes his lifestyle is the worst punishment. So sometimes there's a delay in things because it's just as much punishment with the Lord doing nothing to a person. So uh, be sure he's heard your thoughts and uh, your, your wonders about those things and he's going to act at the appropriate time. I pray that uh, you can give me 
some uh, feedback and some blessing. I uh, don't think I'm ever going to drink some brandy, um, but I'm glad I talked to a brandy. God bless. <laughs>